Welcome back, NACA. Answering a question that came in via response to our videos. Here's the question. Until the last one, in your pay videos, you don't offer any solutions. Why only offer a solution for ATC 10s, 11s, and 12s? Thanks for the question. Okay, so we have a pay problem. The 2016 CBA falls short of paying our facilities well, both in terms of the dollar amount and the pay bands, but also in the TCI that sets your facility grade. But any solution I would offer to the membership can only come via the collective bargaining. Since you have to bargain for it, I will not disclose my proposals by video because I don't want to tip the hand of the union now in 2023 for something we won't be at the table to negotiate until at worst 2025. Now, the federal pay cap, however, is a legislative issue and has nothing to do with the FAA. We don't have to bargain for it. We have to advocate Congress to get it done. But remember, every year that this trend continues, splitting increases in locality separately from the presidential raise that moves the bands and the federal pay cap, the more of us that are going to see the top of our pay bands effectively removed. And if you don't fix it, upward mobility of the 10s, 11s, and 12s will be limited when we do get to the contract table. I'll see you next time.